the first in a series of meetings to gather public input in the process of creating an updated airport master plan for the Westchester County Airport took place May 24th at the Elizabeth Haub School of Law at Pace University in White Plains. The last full master plan for the airport was completed in 1989. In February 2020, County Executive George Latimer's administration started to take action for a master plan supplement, but the COVID-19 pandemic forced a halt. In 2017, there was a master plan that was prepared, predecessor administration. Uh, it did not have the Board of Legislators review and approval, but there was grant money that was allocated for the start of that process, and so that plan was uh, submitted to the federal government. What we are technically doing is a master plan supplement, but in fact, what we are doing is a brand new master plan. So that all of the presumptions that were in the 2017 plan, uh, we revert back to zero and we start from scratch and we come up with what we hope will be a productive discussion. This is an unprecedented process. We have never had a master plan done with this much public input or effort desired to seek points of views. The study is not going to propose expansion of the airport outside of its existing 700 acre footprint. We're not going to be proposing any changes to that terminal use agreement, which limits the number of passengers and number of airliners that are coming in at certain times in the day. And we're not going to be recommending elimination of the voluntary restrictions on overnight flights. Basically, broadly, the airport's role is not going to be changing. In the future planning for the airport layout plan, master plan, the Westchester Flying Club and other light GA operators are asking for a dedicated area to be set aside for ramp space, maintenance, and self-service fuel for our aircraft. The 1980s airport master plan specified the need to protect light GA at Westchester. This now is a chance to make light GA the reality it was meant to be back when the county first purchased our airport for a dollar. Given the goal of a master plan is to maintain a high level of safe and efficient and environmentally responsible service for the next, next decade or so, this revision should outline specific steps to prevent negative impacts for the future. PEPA would like to see revisions that improve environmental management systems to address noise disturbances, air pollution, and discharges of pollutants into the Kensco Reservoir. The current master plan identifies as important protected open space for watershed and reservoir protection. Therefore, it's alarming that Westchester Joint Water Works is proposing to build a massive filtration plant within the watershed on property owned by Westchester County in the Westchester County Airport under a possible land swap subject to approval by the Board of Legislators. Currently, Mount Pleasant suffers the impact of the planes, but generates no economic impact directly from the airport. In other words, we suffer the brunt and have no no benefit. Um, one of the things you say is you're not going to increase the size. The size is already larger than LaGuardia. 